We are in the midst of talking, my God Almighty, about having a one and one with God and can be touched. And what we can be touched by is infirmity. Yes. We can be touched by the infirmity of God. We can be touched by the depths of God. When, when we get that touch, that touch will bring change. A great, great change in our life. And if we don't have that great, you see, that is the reason why, you know, I pray. I thank God for prayer. I thank God for prayer because I see my God Almighty, many struggling that the children of God are facing and going through. The blockage, the many things that come to bring, you know, distraction, name it. And because of that, many people are not focused to have the one on one with God. Yeah. Trials, tribulation, situation, all kind of things come in the midst and causes the children of God not able to focus, not able to say, you know, I'm not, I, I don't like the way I feel. Line is muted. To say, I don't well, like I, the I, way I, I feel. I believe I want to pray. I feel like I want to pray. But many people, that's one of the hardest things that come in the midst. Yes. For people to say, you know, I, I, I'm here for the old day and I don't pray. People will just get up in the morning and say a, two, a few words and that's it. For the whole day, people, they're just going along, working, this happened, that happened. And you know, funny life is, it's not a sin to work, it is a blessing. It is a blessing to, for people to have a job. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But it is also for us, that is the reason why he gave us two. We are talking about the double two now. He gave us two way, my God Almighty, he gave us the physical and the spiritual way of focusing and being conscious. <coughs> Focus in and being conscious. It is not for, the, for any child of God to just keep focus in on your job. That's right. It is not for nobody to focus on your job. Focus on your, 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 your children. Focus on husband. Focus on wife. Focus on your house, your car, your this, your that. No, it's not supposed to be so. You see what people don't understand? If the children of God get the real deal and understanding of what it is to serve God, we are to have our focus on God and we are to be conscious of our surrounding. Amen. That's where the physical Amen. come in. The focus must be of God and the spiritual must be of the consciousness because that is the reason why he gave us, my God Almighty, a mind. Yes. And the mind can focus and the mind can be conscious. Yes. And it can be split. It's a double thing. A part of your mind focus and the next part of your mind conscious. You get what I'm saying to you? Conscious of the surrounding. Yes. What about, just let me, let, let, let me show you something. What about a person, for instance, you're at your job. You're in your job. This is mama. And right there, you're in the midst of serving God. You're singing, you're worshiping, name it and what have you. But at the same time, you are being conscious to look to see if she's all right. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, the focus of your mind is on God. Yes. You get what I'm saying to you? Yes. Even if a person is on their job, yes. my God Almighty, it is for that person to have that consciousness. To keep that balance, that double balance. You can focus on God. Why do you think many people are able to fast and go to work? Because they have the double, the double balance must operate. You must be able to focus on God doing the fasting. But be conscious of your surrounding of what you are doing. Amen. And right there, my God Almighty, in the midst of you doing so, you can be touched by his infirmity. Amen. You can't be touched by his infirmity. 
Because what? He's the God who knows and understands that God, this is the time I have to do this. I don't get off time with my boss. I don't get to stay home and da, da, da. But God, I know I can do this fasting. I know I can do this. And I can focus on you and I can be conscious. And he will do what? That's why he said, he will never leave you nor forsake you. Amen. That's why he said he will be in the midst to lead you in the pathway for what? Because of his name's sake. He will lead you in the righteous way, Amen. in the right pathway because of his name's sake. Why? Because he wants for you when you can focus on him. Amen. Being conscious of your surrounding and focus of God is one of the greatest things. But it takes, my God Almighty, dedication of the heart. Yes. That's what it takes, dedication of the heart. That's what it takes, dedication of the heart. When you have dedication of the heart, then you can able to have that consciousness to focus on God. Yes. You can focus on him and conscious of your surrounding. Now, my God Almighty, Jacob, he did not know that he was going to have that one-on-one -on -one with God. But in the midst of everything, he gathered in his family. And he get them going. He said to them, okay, go ahead, I'm coming. He was like, my God Almighty, a backbone for them. Yes. And while they were going, my God Almighty. And what I love about this text, there is not one of them that come and disrupt what was going on with him. While he was having, mm, while he was having that one-on-one -on -one with God, mm. there was no one to disrupt him, you notice. You notice what the text said. The text said, my God Almighty, that he was there with him. He was there with the angel. Yes. Struggling. That's right. My God Almighty. Somebody could help me find where that is right now. Let me see. Find it. He was there with the angel struggling. And while he was there struggling, my God Almighty. 24. Many people don't read it. Read it what it said. Read it what it said. Then Jacob was left alone, and a man wrestled with him until the breaking of day. Genesis 30. You hear that? And let me give us some revelation about that. Many of us don't have no time when we are having a one-on-one -on -one with God. It always have to cut short because of other things that come in the way. Lord Jesus Christ, have mercy. Yes. Okay. I heart of the mercy of God for the children of God. And you see... It takes, it takes time. Yes. The Bible said it was there from, in the, from the evening until the morning. Look at it. He was there. He had quality time. And it was so much. You see, let me say this to you. You have some people, when they really and truly want from God, they will push yes. to get from God. Amen. Some you, you can't listen to me. You can know the people that are dedicated to God, and you can know the one them that just want to prostitute him, just want to get and get going, just want to get and get going. But if we look and see with with with, with my God Almighty Jacob, Jacob decided to spend that quality time. Yes. Revelation knowledge. The Bible showed that he was there wrestling with an angel. But it wasn't just a wrestling going on. It was many conversations sharing. It was many questions asking. It was many things saying. It was many, 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 many things. Because Jacob knew that he needed something from God. And if we look, if we, if we read the story of Jacob, right there we know that he, he got his brother birthright. That's right. Somebody making some noise. Right there we have to understand. We know that Jacob got my God Almighty um, with his brother birthright. And right there with his brother birthright, my God Almighty. What happened? He had was to my God Almighty. He, not, he did not just got the birthright. But what happened? He, wrote, he, he also got the blessing that his brother supposed to get. His brother, no, not, not what his brother supposed to. Yes, his brother was to get it. But it wasn't ordained that way from God. Because if his brother was to get that blessing, guess what? His brother would have just wasted it. It would be like nothing. You know, you have some people, God has given great gifts, yeah. great things, and they just sit there and, do, and say, oh, me, I'm not doing nothing. I'm not serving God. I'm not this, I'm not that. They don't care. 
But you know what happened? God see where it was fit for Jacob to get it. That's why he allowed it to happen so. But in the midst of Jacob now, Jacob know that he needed something from God. So what do you think? He did not linger with that angel. He decided that he's going to wrestle and get what he's supposed to get out of that angel. Because just imagine, he's going back where his brother, my God Almighty, is. And he know the brother temper, te uh, temper. He know that that brother will take up his last and chop him in a quick yes, and a second. Yes. Because his brother is what? A bushman. Come right. on, talk to me. That's right. That's right. His brother is a bushman. Esau. Esau. Esau is a bushman and Esau is angry with him. Why? Because he, 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 he took the birthright, then turned around and take his blessing. Can you imagine? Yes. So right there, okay, I give you my birthright. So why you now take my blessing? So Jacob needed that protection from that angel. So Jacob said, I have to spend quality time with God so that I can, when I go in the presence of my brother, things can be much better. Amen. Yes, and God. that's why many of us need my God Almighty. Many people, you see, you see, people of God, it is so sad for some of us. So sad, so sad. Many of us going to do business. We're going somewhere and we have no time to spend with God for God to lead us in the pathway. Right. True. We have no time to spend with God. So that my God Almighty, we can to even hear, God, do you want me to go? God, what could what should I do? Da 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 da. You see, when we can, my God Almighty, have that one and one with God, He will come in the midst because there is no such thing as one and one with God and you don't get touched by Him. Amen. No way. Amen. No way. Amen. Moses got touched by God when he went up on Mount Sinai. That's right. He went up there to inquire about the burning bush. And while he was there, my God Almighty, what happened? He heard, my God Almighty, the bush start, the fire start to speak to him. He, the, the word of God said in Genesis that when Moses stand in the midst of the fire, he could not even look at the fire, my God Almighty, because the fire was so pierced. You understand know what I'm saying? Yes, yes. It was so pierced upon him. And my God Almighty, by the time he stand there, the fire starts to speak to him. Moses, take off thy shoes. You are standing on holy ground. While he was there, my God Almighty, in every way, my God Almighty, he do. God was there speaking to him. He was having a one and one with God. He was, my, because what? Moses wanted to know. He wanted to know. Glory be to God. He wanted to know from God. So while he was there talking, he ended up knowing the power that God has invested in him. God said, push your hand in your stomach. Take it out. Oh my God Almighty, look at it. It was leopard. He said, all right, put it back. Then he, he said, put it back. When he put it back and take it out, his hand becomes all again. He see, realized, my God Almighty, how powerful that is. Even before the, with the, with the, with the, the rod, when he threw the rod down, and he took the rod up. You know, people of God, that's a powerful story. If we could really get sit in that story and understand how great that is, you know. It was a one and one with God. Yes. It was a one and one with God. And just to have that one and one with God, what the word of God said about Moses. They said when he came down <laughs> from that mountain, nobody could look in his face. Yes. Look at it. Yeah. When you have one and one with God, you will charge. And whatever come your way have to get Whatever come your way have to get out of your way. Yes. Because there's no greater power like God's power. No greater power like God's power. This is no joke thing. There's no greater power like God's power, people of God. When you can purpose in your heart to have a one-on-one -on -one with God. Don't just want to have a one-on-one -on -one with God because you want something from him. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But have a one-on-one -on -one with God so that when you have that one-on-one, -on -one, your life can be changed and never remain the same. Hallelujah. 
That's what it is all about changing. That's what it is all about transformation. Feel the Holy Ghost. Rabba Satoria Mama Shendri Kandel Woshendi. All it is. Let them know about the, 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 the shouting because they, they, they might not know. Yes, whenever she shouts, she's Jesus. releasing the power. I'm releasing of the Holy something. Spirit. So you say, I receive the You just have to receive it. And it comes in whatever I'm talking for you to get the wisdom, wisdom. knowledge, and understanding Amen. for the, whatever God is saying for to work in your life as well. Glory be life. for manifestation yeah. to manifest in your life. Glory be to God. So my God Almighty, as I said, my God Almighty, Moses, my God Almighty, hallelujah, he have his time with God, and he end up, my God Almighty, have a one and one, and his what? His life never be the same. Yes, amen. Never. He leave out of the present, my God Almighty, of the burning fire. And he leave walking like a fire. Come on, people. Yes, God. I said he leave out of the fire and end up walking like the fire. Look, 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 look the power that was invested in Moses. Moses' face was, my God, becomes light. His rod of power, my God Almighty, and inside of him, my God Almighty, there was more, my God Almighty, what was inside of him? Miracle! That's right. Miracle was inside of him. Right. When he dropped the rod, the rod came up with power. When he put his hands in his stomach and take it out and it becomes leopard. And God said, put it back. When he put it back, my God Almighty, he see the miracle of God. When he was there walking, going down back to his people, in the midst of him, his face was shining light. So look and see what he gained. Three in one and one in three. Amen. 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 You know what he gained? Power, dominion, and authority. Amen. That's what he gained just by having that one on one with God. You see, my God Almighty, many of us don't understand the quality way of having that one on one with God. Especially when you're having what situation. Just take that time out with you and God. Amen. What, what, what Jacob said. Jacob said, I will read, 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 go down a little further from it. Then you should be reading and I'll come. Sister, again, let her read. Rabba Satori Abasende. Give her from where she's supposed to read it. When, after the wrestling? Yes. At 25. Read 25. 22, 22, 22. Read, 30, read, read from 25 verses. We're in Exodus 20. Tw Exodus 32. Exodus 32. We're at the 25 verse, people of God. Rabba Satori Abasende. Verse 25. Now when he saw that he did not prevail against him, he touched the socket of his hip, and the socket of Jacob's hip was out of joint as he wrestled with him. That's 25. Just wanted to read yes. the 25 verse. Yes. Okay. I want you to tread along with me right there. Now, people of God, we are coming on. You're all going to gain something today, my God Almighty. Amen. Amen. You're all going to gain something today. How do I touch it to see? Want to it goes in sleep mode. So you just put right. the power. Yes. My God Almighty. Glory be to 